You know, some people ask, does door knocking work? I just want to put, I put some stats together for you. So we use, we use a pro, for those of you who don't know, we use a, a program called Spotio, which is a, a door knocking app um, for salespeople. And then basically when you knock on a door, you can record what happened at that door. And, and we can use it for multiple things. But one thing we can use it for is we can get an idea, we can just see the statistics of what has happened in the last year. And I've got a couple of interesting statistics down the bottom. But, you know, the purpose of door knocking, the purpose of preaching the gospel, like I said in the beginning, it's not to build a church. You know, the purpose is not to get people along to church. It's, it's to get people to hear the gospel. So the purpose of preaching the gospel is so that people have an opportunity to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why the number I like to focus on is really from the status of yellow and up where you have people that have heard the gospel, either we're following up with them, they got saved, and so on and so forth. That's the number I like to focus on. Some people only focus on the number that is saved. But see, you know, it's, you, you cannot control that. You, you can't control somebody believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. But what you can control is how many people you preach the gospel to, how many doors you knock. You can control that. And ultimately, people will get saved if you knock on enough doors, if you preach the gospel enough times. So I like to focus on that number because I think the success of any soul winning program is not how many people get saved, not how many uh, people come to church, it's how many people have heard the gospel. Because sometimes you're watering, sometimes you're sowing, sometimes you're reaping. So if you base the success of a garden based on how much, you know, or you base the success of, of a gardener by how much he reaps fruit, but he never sows, he never waters, then you've got the wrong measure. You need to look at the whole picture. So, well, does soul winning work? Well, let's have a look at the statistics. So, these, so you have in column B the last three months, and then column D is all our data ever since we started. Now, that includes some of the doors knocked, a few doors knocked in Perth. It's a few doors knocked, you know, in different other places of people that use Spotty as well, that have our login. Um, plus or minus a couple of hundred, but you'll, you'll get a ballpark figure in terms of the total number of doors knocked. So we've knocked, as a church, 12,140 doors in total. Um, that's amazing when you think about, most of us only go once a week, and that's an average of about 10 people every week. 10 people. 10 people going soul winning on average about once a week, knock 12,000 doors. So imagine if it was 20. Imagine if it was 50. Imagine if it was 100. I mean, I, I don't even think a group of 100 is that big. Do you know what I mean? A hundred people going soul winning? I mean, that's not big compared to like some other like political groups of people going canvassing. You know what I mean? Like, just imagine like what we, that's why it's, money's not the answer. Money's not what's going to get people saved. God just needs you to get involved, you know? Because that's 10 people, that's on average people knocking about a thousand doors each. And that's a lot of doors, you know. I mean, most times when you go out soul winning and you go door knocking, you might knock on 10 to 20 doors if you get into a conversation. So 1,000 doesn't sound like a big number, but that's a big number when it's just one person doing that um, over a year. A couple of other interesting things. So total doors knocked, 12,140. Total doors aren't... I, I say total doors answered is basically the total without the not home. So if you knock on a door and the person is not home... I like to look at the percentages without the not homes because really, you know, it's about how many people you actually talk to. If you're knocking on doors, you're really just letterboxing those houses um, and they don't take a lot of time. You just sort of knock on it and move on and leave a track. So total doors answered is 6,810. Total houses letterboxed, so that's the, the difference, 5,330. So people that, you know, only for letterbox, hey, we letterbox a lot too, you know, just do it at the same time. Um, we letterbox 5,000 houses. Um, now this is a total at least that heard the gospel 829 people now that's a lot of people considering you know 10 people soul winning I think I think we did an amazing job you know, in the words of Donald Trump um, did an amazing job uh, 829 so that's like eight. I mean most people you know on average probably most people would give the gospel to like one or two people a year right um so when we go door knocking, look how many people heard the gospel. Total saved, 74. Isn't it interesting? Look at the percentage of the total saved, 1.09%. And obviously statistics don't control you know, whether or not people get saved or not. But, but if you look at the statistics of our soul winning, 
1% of the people who answer the door get saved. So what does that mean? That means if you knock however many doors, if 100 people answer, or according to these statistics, right, if 100 people answer, one of them will get saved. So you know that, hey, if you're going to knock 100 doors, eventually you're going to get somebody saved, um, according to these statistics. And obviously that's not entirely accurate because obviously those of us who may be more experienced are getting more of those numbers than others. But it's, it's not about so much um, individual talent because everyone getting involved is making this happen. Um, the last thing I just wanted to say here with the numbers that I thought you might find interesting is the total that are aggressive. Now we have a status here. If you're wondering what all the statuses mean, so not, not home is self-explanatory. Not interested is when they don't, don't want to talk but they're polite. Uh, gave a tract is when you just are able to hand them a tract but they don't want to talk at all. A brief discussion is when you might hand them a tract and then you might mention a couple of things, you know, preach a very, very short gospel is a brief discussion. Heard the gospel or an in-depth discussion is when you get into a bit more things where you're showing them scriptures, you're discussing things, you've preached the gospel to them. You've got following up not saved and following up saved, which is, which is a church member or somebody that's saved already. Somebody who got saved, so they called upon the name of the Lord. Somebody who's already saved, so we separated that up because we wanted to see how many people we had led to the Lord as opposed to people that were already saved out there. The last one we have is aggressive. And I put it pink just because I don't really like the color pink really much. And you know, that was a color that we hadn't used. So we, you can see the color scheme is kind of like cold to hot, right? Saved is red, the blood of Jesus Christ. So aggressive was, was pink. Now aggressive is if somebody like curses you away, you know, people that are like, don't come back, slam the door, that sort of stuff. People that don't, you know, if you were to go back, would get angry with you. Now, we mark those as aggressive. But if you notice the number, there's only 37. 37 out of 12,000 doors. 37 people said we're rude and said don't come back, slam the door, cursed at us, whatever. So Mike, what I want you to reflect on is like, what are you scared of? You're scared to go soul winning. And they're, they're more scared of us. And it's like, with, I'm scared. I don't like cockroaches. I don't like spiders. You know, I say, spider's probably more scared of you than you are of it. It's probably true. But, you know, that's why I got I to think about those things too. But, you know, they, you know they're, they're more scared of you than, than we are of them. And look how many people actually, you know, chances are if you don't go soul winning that often, you probably won't even come across one of those doors. You know, generally the experience would be you go door knocking, people don't want to talk. You know, um, so it's about trying to get people to talk. But there's nothing to be scared of because people really are not as aggressive as you think they are. So, hey, door knocking works in the sense that people are hearing the gospel. 830 people hearing the gospel because of this church and not just because of me. You know, it's because of everyone that's involved. And hey, if more people were involved, hey, that number is going to hopefully double next year of how many people are hearing the gospel. And as we... Increase in knowledge, increase in, in, in um, skill, hey, hopefully we'll get better. And that's